All right, let's do a little video here watching how my water bottle does driving through downtown Richmond. You can see downtown Richmond skyline a little bit. I'll do it in the near future. Here's my water bottle doing its job, driving for me. It basically is a little hack here. I've got another video on, on how to get the water bottle on there. It's real easy if you have a handheld water bottle that's designed for runners. And you can see on the map here, we're about ready to head through downtown Richmond. There's a big curve in the interstate. So we're gonna see how my water bottle handles all that. I've got Autopilot 2 that I'm running. And so far you can see we're in a 60 mile an hour zone. I've got it set for 66. I'm not touching the wheel, although I'm here and can grab it at any time if my water bottle decides it's not successful in doing whatever it's gonna do or for any reason the vehicle decides it doesn't know where it is on the road. You can see right here it knows it's right in the middle of the lane up oh, on the right side. It's very accurate. If you haven't used this before, see it can sense vehicles on the both sides of me in the back. It really knows what's going on. It's very good. I mean I've I've put about five thousand miles on this Model X 2017 since I got it about a month or so ago and it's been doing great. It's really increased my confidence the more I use this. So I've gotten to this point now where I'm prepared to just kind of monitor my water bottle instead of having to hold the wheel the whole time. And I do a lot of highway driving. I have put, a I mean, I've got 5,000 miles on the vehicle. Over 4,000 is probably interstate highway driving. There's downtown Richmond skyline. So we just did that curve, that, did that curve just fine. But we've got this more difficult S curve in downtown. We're gonna turn right and then turn left. It's just on the straightaway for right now. Watch out, hazard reported ahead. That's my ways. See it sends that school bus. Oh, it's braking all of a sudden. Occasionally I notice it does that. It was, it was, it, actually I don't think it was braking there, but it let off the accelerator pretty hard. And it felt like it was braking. And I'm not sure why it was doing that, but it thinks that something's in the road. I don't know what, if it's a bird that flies by or something like that, but I, I would guess that that may affect these systems. All right, now we're passing a lot of slow traffic, right? You can see that there's a lot of differential speed going the time. Nine miles. Stay to the left, Y95 North Washington. Alright, we're gonna hit the curve to the right here. I've got this truck with a lawnmower in the back of it in front of me. I've got this set for four car lengths, so we shouldn't have to do any kind of panic braking. I found that four car lengths is a really smooth. See, the wheel's gonna turn. Okay, just turn it to the right. Good. Let's go straighten up for a second. Get on this other part of the S-curve, going to the left. There it goes, we're going to the left. Right next to this tanker. For internal combustion engines, we don't need those tankers anymore for driving electric vehicle. And that's pretty much it. We're coming to the Richmond sign, and after that I'll sign off. As you can see, it did really well those curves. I haven't touched the wheel in a long time. It's been over four minutes now. There's the Richmond sign. So I'd say right now it's doing really well. I know these vehicles are not designed right now to be fully autonomous, but they are designed to be fully autonomous. The software just doesn't allow them and one of the things in the software is requiring you to hold the wheel and this kind of bypasses that. I know it probably shouldn't be done and people aren't gonna be happy. And I know that Tesla doesn't have any responsibility for this. I had to sign off on the beta agreement. Look at this right here on the right. Yeah, we're okay. But as you can see, it, it seems to work just fine. And it's not complaining at me either. It's got just the right amount just by filling this thing with water. This bottle is totally full. And sloshing back and forth when it's turning. It, you know, it does a really good job of pretending to be like a human would be holding the wheel, you have to hold it tightly. You can't just let it slip through your fingers, otherwise you're gonna get an alert even if you are holding the wheel, which happens to me a lot. So this kind of prevents that from happening as well.
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment below if you have anything to say about this or any more techniques you know about, any more hacks. Thanks.